In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for HXESH, and this is the first xenon sulfur bond that's been observed. We'll start by counting the valence electrons up. We have one plus eight, sulfur is six, plus one for the hydrogen there, 16 total valence electrons for the HXESH Lewis structure. So we'll put the least electronegative elements in the center. Hydrogens always go on the outside. And in fact, this is a fairly linear molecule. We can see the way it's written is the way it's intended to be drawn as a Lewis structure. So we can just put H, X, E, S, H. We'll start by putting valence electrons between atoms to form those chemical bonds. We've used six valence electrons. We have 10 more. And then we'll complete the octets on these atoms here in the center. At this point, we've used 14 valence electrons. And you can see the hydrogens, they have two, so their outer shells are full. Sulfur, eight, and then xenon has eight as well. But we have these two valence electrons left over, and it doesn't seem like we have anywhere to put them. However, xenon is able to have more than eight valence electrons. It can have an expanded octet. So we can put those remaining two valence electrons right here on the xenon. And that would complete our Lewis structure for HXESH. Xenon has an expanded octet, but that's okay. Sulfur it has its octet, and the hydrogens, those are fine as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.